Hello everyone, I'm Ting Yuxia from Jilin University. Here today, I'm excited and honored to share our work with you. In this work, by analyzing what task-specific knowledge BERT needs the most and where it is most needed, we propose a knowledge-enhanced BERT which is able to constantly improve semantic textual matching performance over the original BERT model. And the performance benefit is most salient when training data is scarce. I will introduce our work in detail from these four aspects. Now, let's start from the first part, BERT analysis. To answer our question, what has BERT already known and not known about the task, we conducted two pilot studies as follows. First, we augmented the MRPC dataset with various types of prior knowledge that are potentially useful for determining semantic textual similarity and compare the performance of BERT trained on the original date and the augmented date. If a, if a particular date augmentation strategy can improve BERT's STS performance, it indicates that the BERT still lacks the corresponding knowledge. Second, we free the BERT model and use the pre-trained contextualized word representation to perform the STS task. The goal is to observe where BERT stores the most STS-related knowledge and where such knowledge is the most lacking. This allows us to make an informed decision on which BERT layer to inject prior knowledge. For data augmentation study, we use six different strategies to augment the pilot dataset MRPC. The results show that except for replace synonyms, all other strategies lead to a performance drop. This indicates that the BERT may have already understood the importance of stop words and content words in STS tasks, and it knows to use syntactic ordering and semantic coherence when inferring semantic similarity. As a comparison, we apply the same procedure to a non-transformer model for the STS task, the Enhanced Sequential Inference Model, ESIM. ESM benefits from audit augmentation strategies except for at a random word. Both back translation and split and swap are effective strategies, which do not apply for BERT. This indicates that a pre-trained BERT model has rich prior knowledge for the STS task that a non-transformer model doesn't process. For layerized performance study, from this figure we could see that First, lower layers were found to perform broad attention across all pairs of words, and the low layers lack of semantic knowledge. Second, middle layers were found to mostly capture transferable syntactic and semantic knowledge. Third, it's not surprising that the upper layers do not perform well, as these layers are specifically trained towards the pre-training tasks of BERT, masked language modeling, and next sentence prediction, not STS tasks. Combining results from the two studies, we identify a promising direction to incorporate synonym knowledge into low layers of BERT. Next part, I will introduce our pro proposed algorithm. We design a general algorithm for incorporating synonym knowledge into the BERT model. According to the findings in session BERT analysis, the synonym knowledge should be added to lower layers of BERT. We decided to use word similarity knowledge to modulate the attention as the first layer of BERT. As a comparison baseline, we add the same knowledge into the ESIM model. Below, I will describe our approach in detail. First of all, before introducing our proposed method, I want to introduce the construction of our similarity matrix, which is a crucial part of our method. One, give two pieces of test, A and B, we construct a word similarity matrix S, O, S, O size, L, A, and L, B. Two, we calculate the value of each cell in S based on semantic relations in WordNet. Three, specifically for a lexical pair WA and WB. If words in the pair are synonyms in WordNet, the cell value SAB is 1. Otherwise, if WA and WB are not synonyms, we set SAB as a value in range 0 to 1 according to the method in WordNet. This heat map visualizes the similarity matrix constructed for two sentence pairs from the STSB dataset. 
and the ground truth similarity score of these two sentences are 0 0.8 and 5.0. Besides other semantic similarity resources such as Wikipedia, ConceptNet, and UMLS can also be used to construct as using word or concept similarity knowledge. First, the attention function can be described as a mapping from query vector Q and a set of key value vector pairs K and V to an output vector. For knowledge guided attention, we calculate the elements wise product of the scores using the similarity matrix S to make the model pay more attention to the word pairs with higher similarities. As mentioned before, we only add such pair prior knowledge in the attention of the first bot layer, as that layer's attention is broad and uninformed. This page shows the attention head view in one or more heads in a particular layer in the model. The first gave visualized attention in the first layer, and the second gave visualized attention in all layers. It's easy to see that lower layers' attention are broad and uninformed. And once again, explained why we added prior knowledge in the first layer. For ESM model, it uses a BIOS TM to encode the input sentence A and B, and then compute the attention weight E. And in knowledge guided ESM, we compute an element wise product between the attention weight matrix E and the word similarity matrix S to inject knowledge in this model. For more detail, you can read this paper. Now I will introduce our experiment. This figure shows the semantic textual matching performance in four datasets based on our re-implementation of each method in PyTorch. Each performance value of ESIM and ESIM sim are the average of 10 runs, and the bird base and bird base sim are 5 runs. On the two relative small datasets, MRPC and STSB, we observe salient performance gain when knowledge is incorporated in model. On the two relative largest datasets, QQP and the Twitter URL, the performance gain is minimal, if any. This is what we expected. Prior knowledge is most beneficial when the training data is small. In order to better demonstrate, we did further experiments. For each dataset, we randomly select from 10% to 100% date from training set as a training date. For BERT and BERT SIM, we have trained five times for each training scale of each dataset. Take the MRPC dataset as an example. As the figure shows, our proposed method for adding prior knowledge improves model performance almost consistently across all training datasets. And the benefit is especially salient when training data is scarce. This page shows the results of adding prior knowledge to BERT in four different datasets. And these four figures show the performance of adding prior knowledge to ESIM model. To verify our hypothesis that word similarity knowledge is most needed in the first layer, we explored an alternative approach for further analysis to inject this model into birth attention on all layers. We observe that adding knowledge to all layers will impede the model from learning. In contrast, adding knowledge to the first layer is more reasonable. And why not choose data mutation but use the similarity matrix? As the figure one shows, word sim slightly outperform data augmentation because it can inject word similarity knowledge into the model, even if those words do not appear in the training data. Whereas for data augmentation, if no sentence in the training data contains the word happy or glad, then the knowledge that happy and glad are synonyms cannot be added by data augmentation. Therefore, the benefit of data augmentation depends on training data, while the benefit of knowledge injection does not. Besides, because of actual training data, the data augmentation approach takes twice as much time to train than directly injecting knowledge into the model as the figure 2 shows. 
This highlights the advantage of our proposed approach. It performs at least as well as the data augmentation approach with only half the training time. Last, our conclusion. We show that well a pre-trained BERT model has prior knowledge on STS tasks, which a non-transformer deep model doesn't process. Its knowledge in word similarity is still inadequate and can be further improved. We propose an efficient and effective method for injecting word similarity knowledge into BERT, not through adding other training tasks, but by directly guiding the model's attention. This approach not only provides